Welcome to section five, group policy management. Now in this section, we're gonna walk through some standard tasks that you may perform with group policy. We'll start by creating and assigning a basic group policy object. Then we'll walk through mapping network drives and redirecting folders using group policy. Then we'll look at some more diagnostic pieces of it. We'll, we'll see how we can view what uh, group policy objects are assigned to a particular system and then we'll also walk through how to back up and restore our GPOs. So for this section we're going to again try to keep our lab environment relatively small so we'll be working with the domain controller DC01 again and then I'm just going to use the existing file server from the previous lab and we'll apply policies and take a look. There's nothing specific to that file server so if you are creating your own to play with it can really be anything uh, as long as you have another system that's uh, server 2016 or Windows 10 that you can apply these policies to to make sure there's no compatibility issues. So one thing we'll want to do quickly before we get too deep here is go to file 01 and we're going to create a, uh, a network share that we can use with our group policy. So I'm going to create a folder here called um, staff documents and we'll go ahead and right click and go into our properties and sharing and we'll want to share this on the network uh, so we'll go ahead and say that our administrator should have those permissions so we'll just assume the defaults hit share and now if you go to file one slash staff documents we should be able to access this network share now back on DC01, we can go down and hit start and go into our administrative tools. And we should see here the group policy management console. So you can see here, it's a list of our current policies. We have a default domain policy that we can make changes in. And then there's some other categories here. We can add our own and start structuring things as needed. So what we want to do for starters is edit this default domain policy. So inside of the policy management editor, uh, we can go into preferences and window settings and select folders. And here we're just going to right click and create a new folder uh, just to verify the process of group policy and applying them here. We'll say we just want to add a temp folder to every machine. So Go ahead and apply this. And so since we are applying this at that default domain policy level, that means anything that's joined to the domain should have this policy applied to it. Now if I go quit out of here and quit out of the console, we'll go ahead and force this to be applied and then we'll see if our folder has been put in place. So I'll bring up a command prompt and the command is gp update and you can do slash force to force that update to take place. Uh, we'll see that a computer policy will be processed and the user policies will be processed. And once that is completed, we can go check our C drive and see if our folder has been put in place. There we go. So let's go ahead and check our C drive. And now we can see that the temp folder is in place. And so group policy will run by default around every 90 minutes and it's going to check this folder every time. So say we were to say I don't want a temp folder here and I go ahead and delete it. In 90 minutes this would come up and run in the background and then you would see we have no option. The domain has dictated that we are going to have this folder and we cannot get around that. Um, so those are the basics. That's a little refresh if you went through the first course.